Yes, sir. It's your boy, Zoda Session, Session Podcast. We live, man. I ain't shit. I'm sitting here, man. We with, we with This is a real-life homie session. Like, we was just smoking, and I'm like, this is why I made my pod. Yeah, I'm glad. I was just looking like, what the fuck is that, bitch? I, this is why I made my pod anyway, so that way when I'm smoking with the homies, like, we could just talk shit, and the net can see what's going on, because we be talking about some cool shit sometimes. You feel me? This is my good homie, Tiz. Um, you feel me? Everybody know him as Big T. You see me, you see him. Y'all know what's going on. Uh, so we ain't doing shit, man. We just smoking dope. Wanted to connect with y'all. I'm on a mission of making sure I give y'all a bunch of content. And so even I know me and my homies be having great convos and shit like that. So we just locked in, man. And we going to talk about some things. Like we be talking about some wild shit, some good shit, some in- real intellectual shit. So... It was just cool to jump on real quick, have a quick smoke session, and talk about some things we'd be talking about. Um, but first, man, I want to talk to you about some things. Like, I want to pick your brain, too, because you a Chicago nigga through and through. Um, What's some things about the city that you just dead-ass hate? Niggas. I ain't nigga. <laughs> niggas. Niggas, bro. Niggas, bro. Niggas, bro. Yeah. The extraness of niggas, too, bro. The you extra know, niggas just be trying to do do too much, be too gangster for what too though to prove something. Oh, and that's what that's the, that's how I take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just to, just to, 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 to prove something for no reason. Like when everybody chill, you just want to be the extra, be the loudest, be the the most. Bro. Yeah, niggas, we we gotta answer. We do be doing that we as we Chicago do niggas, too much, bro. G, for no reason, niggas, for no reason, chill shit, then you just tee up. Niggas don't want to hear what they don't want to be told. They yeah. Get told no, but they just, just yeah. Care, People really fucking hate to just. Yeah, bro. Why are we like that? I but, don't know. Jim. And it's so weird because in Chicago, bro, like, and we on the subject. Fuck it, niggas. Niggas. Bro. Niggas be doing shit. Niggas shit, and um, and that's the difference between black people and niggas. For first and foremost, I'm gonna talk that shit on the pod. You know, I love great black people, G, but niggas. Nah, man, I can't deal with niggas, man. They be they be wild. But in Chicago, bro, we don't do that nowhere else and to nobody else but us, us, bro. For us, bro. You feel me? We won't go up north to the north side with a white hat and turn up for real and act an ass. Mm -mm. But we'll do that in each other's shit, and that's so weird, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other than pure niggas. Nigga tree, man. The nigga tree be a foot. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. I get so t- <laughs> And you know I'm tapped in, bro. Like, I be in the hood. But even some of the hood niggas know how to hide scent sometimes. It's like, sometimes, bro, we got to turn down, bro. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes it be niggas who be like, they don't even call them niggas. It be like people that be from separate. Mm-hmm. That be trying to overly nigga. That try to overly nigga. Yeah, That's the wildest shit to me, too. It's like if you from the suburbs, G, and you know you fake a suburban kid, it's okay to not have to act hood. You're not from the hood. You can chill. You can chill. You can chill. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself over. But they overly try to overly nigga. Like, how are we in the point? No, on some real shit, I think it is kind of like a defense mechanism too, G. What, like, a, a pr- yeah, proving something. That's still the same thing. Yeah, you trying true. to prove that you tough? I think it's more so that they act like that or just people just act like that to be extra niggery just so they don't get messed with or looked at different type of way. I know people who do that shit for real. Yeah, that's also weird. It is. It's like, bro, is. move with the grace of the Lord. You trying to move with the grace of the gun, and that's so <laughs> weird, bro. <laughs> but that's weird because where do we get to a point of, like, we know that society as a whole looks down upon the niggatry aspect of shit, like acting an ass, basically. Mm. You know what I mean when I say this. And um, y'all, if anybody want to take this shit out of context, I don't give a fuck either. Y'all, y'all weird. Anyways, um, but why do we get to a point of, like, we got to out nigga each other? <laughs> like, how the <laughs> fuck did we go that backwards to now the cool thing is who's the coonest Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. What are we doing? I don't know, but it ain't it. And I really hate that for our city, bro, because our city got some really great people. And it's not all, you know. It's, it's we got not, some great, no, great real, people. It's not all. It's just, but when we talk about things we do hate about this city, for sure. 
is the lack of guidance. The lack of guidance, bro. Lack of guidance. I feel too, Chief. Got to throw that in there. Yeah. We ain't got no more guidance. We ain't got no structure. No structure, no guidance. We ain't got no structure. Yeah. A lot of missing missing head pieces to these snakes. Yeah, man. That is a tough one, man. Yeah. Aside from the people, man, like a pure niggotry, what else about the city that you probably just real like dislike? No, bro. I th- I'm pretty Talk cool. No, I like I don't really hate Chicago. I love this shit. Yeah, it's, I love it too. It's just that it's low key. It's just that aspect. Yeah, I don't really low. go through much where yeah. I can say I hate Chicago. I mean, to an extent though, that like nigga shit make Chicago what it is because it kind of yeah we Let's we could do way better with our e ways. No, I mean, true. True. We don't have a lot of overheads and uh, shit like a lot of construction do be stuff. like six, yeah. seven months. Yeah, they yeah. know they could do a lot better with that shit. They milking that shit. They milking that shit. Milking that shit. You know what? No, nah, I'm gonna tell you one thing that I can speak for for everybody in Chicago. You know, other than what we talked about that we hate it. I know everybody here in Chicago hates the parking. The pay yeah. for parking boxes, bro. Yeah. The parking, yeah. bro. They sold us out to some like Saudis or something. For like 75 years. Yes, someone's going to tell us in the comments, but yes, bro, the parking meters, that's why you see the people walking around, the little parking meter guys. Yeah. You know, I know they got to work, but yo, parking in Chicago yeah. is wild, G. The ticket yeah. system in Chicago, wild, G. I absolutely hate the ticket system in Chicago. I hate the parking system. And the permit shit in front yeah, of your Yeah, bro, G, like, they, what are we yeah. doing? We, we, we getting taxed. We bro. getting taxed, we bro. Getting taxed. On top of taxed, like Chicago is robbing us blind. Gotham, Gotham <laughs> City, bro. It's just we getting robbed, we get G. Robbed. The boot system, good lord, G. We see Porsche. Oh, I've booted. seen Porsche. Get Porsche. Hell, Hellcats. Hellcats. Track Hawks. Track Hawks. <laughs> Lamborghinis. Hey, hey, I've bro. seen them. I've seen a, a G wagon get a boot. Hold on. So is that from like not paying parking tickets? So that's like I'm. I'm thinking. I'm. I talked to one of the guys once in my lifetime, and he said it was because people had a bunch of unpaid tickets and they get put on this list. Oh, uh, okay. I so was I'm not a hundred percent. I thought, I thought that was like payments of cars and shit. No, nah, I don't think it's like your your bank coming to get your car. I think that's a total okay. separate thing. I think it's a uh, tickets, tickets and you not paying something. You know, towards so what's the amount then to get your ass on the list? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. That I do not know. But I know one thing's for sure for sure and another thing's for certain. I absolutely hate that parking shit, my fucking. Yeah. I hate that parking shit. But other than that, like you said, this city's great. Oh yeah. We have a sure. beautiful city. We on the water. Fake port city. It's not an ocean port, but it's a lake port. You know, you can get some shit across that water. For sure. Hit New York and all them niggas over there. Cool city, bro. Got a little river running through it. How many cities say they got a river running through the middle of their shit? Not many. Fresh water. Mm. You know. Outside the city ain't nothing but farmland. Grow anything around this motherfucker, you know. It's a great place to be. Other it's than, a good city. It's I mean, a good it's city. It's kind of ah. Hey, but compared to what I be hearing other people pay, we all right. Uh, true, true, true. I mean, but we not like... The cities that ain't got nobody there, bro. Like our population is massive. The demand is higher. You feel me? Facts. So Facts. you know we not in a place that got Facts. half of us, bro. You gotta think, and you gotta think. When you go to cities like L.A. and New York, we think we got a lot of people. But it's an insane amount of people in these country in these uh, other cities. You feel me? So we kind of got a good. Hey, bro. You mm. know what I realized when I lived in like Central Illinois, G, mm. and then I moved. Chicago, bro. Rent was like five fifty down there, yeah. In a good gated neighborhood, nice little neighborhood, five hundred dollar cool rent. Fucking yeah, you can live lavish. Move back to Chicago, twelve hundred. It's because of, of that demand of being in Chicago. Like you got way more emotion you can accumulate yeah. for yourself working yeah. in Chicago, just networking, seeing others, and. It's a lot more that you can add into that value of being here, the logistics. And, it's know. those days, man. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, rent, bro. suburban life ain't bad. That's why I don't understand yeah. why Chicago, like, suburban kids want to be tough city kids. 
Sometimes you got to realize how it's cool. Nah, that shit ain't cool. It ain't nothing cool about having to like walk to your bus stop and be nervous. Yeah, but going to school as a suburban kid and you can get to go to your bus stop or you get to go to school, you're not scared. Like, you know, niggas be having anxiety walking home from school in the city. Yeah, I've seen it. You got anxiety, bro. Like, that's an issue. I mean, I was up the street. I was the hard. I was on Morgan Park. I had to jump on the one on uh, one twelve, but you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> one twelve, folks. Get along. Hey, now nah. my mama that one twelve. <laughs> Look, man. Any nigga took that one twelve? No, that bitch get treacherous, bro. Cause it go deep to the hundreds, folks. Like, <coughs> don't, be sitting, don't be sitting on a. Uh... You know what I'm saying? Don't be sitting there, bro. That motherfucker not running. I seen niggas get hit. Yeah, bro. It's not. Yeah. Traumatized. And y'all suburban kids want to be in that all the time. Like, what y'all got going on? Stay away from that shit, bro. Stay away. Let's talk about my next point, man. Uh, Because we be talking about this sometimes. Hold on. Let me take some of my yogurt, man. I can get my protein. It's in the morning time, guys. This is a Wednesday morning. Me and Big Fella had a little wake and bake. You know what I'm saying? Good Negroes. We in the house. You know what I mean? Indeed. Mm. I weird, buddy. But um, let's talk about this. We were talking about, um, and I see a lot of posts and things like that on social media about this topic. But do you think that black men have some 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 sort of like a colorism thing when it comes to the women they choose, especially when they get successful. Um, I can only go based off what I think. I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's just your opinion. It's no, it's no, I mean, there's no number think, you can put on this. I this think, is totally just our opinions. I think black men do favor, and it's not all of them. I know mm-hmm. some some dudes. Like some dark skin. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. I know some dudes that literally only want dark skin yeah, women. Sure, That's what I sure. feel like. A lot of women get misconstrued with what they see, maybe on TV and in the images. But I know real life people. Yeah. Who only want mm-hmm. to be with a black woman? Mm-hmm. Only you know, no disrespect to other races, but they only want black women. They they like them dark. They mm-hmm. like you know, they like the body, the build. They love the, they, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. I think motherfuckers look at. As more acceptable, more acceptable in the world when it comes to black as well. Be a little louder in the, in the microphone, please. My fault. Mm-hmm. I think men want to see or feels like lighter women is more acceptable to be with in this world day of age. I mean, think about it, bro. I mean, the Rosa Parks situation mm-hmm. wasn't really her. They put someone lighter mm-hmm. to fit the image. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing of mm-hmm. dating as well. So you think it's just it's like deeply rooted in the like like real life segregation and like how whites was put into a like I guess higher standard in society at the time and that's just just deeply unrooted in, even into like the t- caliber of nigga women that niggas get yeah when, when they, they get, get successful when they get, exactly when they get money say hell they just go straight to white yeah you know what I'm saying so yeah and I do be thinking that's probably one of the most simpler answers because I feel like. What happens is, and it's this is a thing too now. I'm not saying it's not, but I also think that we get right into the aspect of like bashing black women. Yeah, that's crazy. And and niggas be like, and niggas be in the comments like, oh yeah, because, uh, not this like I said, this is a thing too that, that black women have constantly said that they're strong, black, independent, and they don't need a man. Yes, that can turn some men off. Like, yes, it can. Oh, for sure. A hundred percent. But that's not necessarily the only reason, and I think that gets exploited too much. And it, try, it like makes our black women feel bad. And it's like, nah, gee, we want y'all to be strong, independent, not have to need us because the world be against us anyway. So, you know, a lot of times it's a, it's a lot of situations where the man can't be there and it wasn't because he didn't want to be. It's because of the circumstances the world put against him and he may have made some mistakes or... Not even that. I mean, sometimes shit be fucked up. I mean, the world <laughs> be really fucked up against them. No you know, dead the ass. Police, the block, and it, you no know. dead ass. So yeah. it's not it's no secret that y'all have had to be bred to be strong mm-hmm. and independent, G. That's like from the beginnings of all this shit. Like, that's, that's what's up. But... 
um, I do got to hear what these men are saying at the same time. It's like, and then they go to respond and be like, oh, y'all want a mom. And it's like, nah, no, we don't. We don't want a mom. We're just. Not nah, a new word, sassy. Dude. Yeah, the new word is sassy. Or you call us zesty for wanting a woman to, that wants to take care of the fam and shit. And it's like, nah, you got to understand that's rare right now. Y'all, y'all, y'all thinking different. Everybody want what's rare, bro. And when that shit is rare to have, you feel me? I think motherfuckers just want what's for them. And that too, yeah, G. Y'all gotta understand too. What y'all think might be best for the man is might it may not be what's best for that man. Mm-hmm. That man want what's best for him. And sometimes a woman that's with that feminine energy and taking care of the household and doing that might be best for that man. Mm-hmm. Man, I know what that man got to deal with every day. You know what I'm saying? You got to offset what he might have to deal with every day at the crib. I know me as a super masculine man on the outside of the world every single day in Chicago, shaking hands, you're walking around, you got to hold, you know, you got to look over your shoulder every day. When I come to the crib, I want to offset that. Just want to smoke, chill. Chill and have some feminine booty to rub on. Bro. Home bro. You know what I'm saying? Home bro. Soften things up. Home bro. Soft. I'm from Chicago, baby. You feel me? That's it. Ain't nothing wrong with that, y'all. Y'all got we gotta start rethinking that. But I will say too, though, there is some athletes that just go right like at not I say athletes because it mostly be ball players. It's actors too. Hey, we see it all the time. It's actors too. Yeah. You know, yeah. Jonathan. You know, it's <laughs> actors too. But you feel me? Damn. I just wanna say that like any woman of dark melanated skin, G, do not hate your skin color and feel like Niggas is just choosing the other like nah. A let's a first before we talking about skin color. A check the character. Check what the character is like. If your character is in check, you know go check another boxes. We all move. Most men, good men, move off the character of a woman, the respect the woman can give us. You know that care and all that other shit. Obviously, the way y'all look is important. Mm-hmm. Like that's important to y'all with us too. So, but we care about that shit. Not just no. Nah, hold on. I know some niggas don't don't give a fuck. Yeah, you know, as of course. As, as long as they got good personality. Yeah, that, that oh, that goes a long way. I'm not going to be the one that's going to sit on here and say, well, appearance does not matter. Bro, that's how you get attracted to somebody usually is first impression is like, bro, this woman's hot or this guy is, uh, you know, attractive to me. I like something about him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you grow to learn and, and love that person mm-hmm. based on, you know, they shit. We not no relationship advice, niggas. This is just opinions. Y'all can be. We can all. We can. Yeah, hey, we I can. Don't ag- discriminate. Yeah, we can agree to disagree. G, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I just monitor too. All right, so open border, G. Okay, now this is one of those things that does kind of directly affect us, right? Because when you ride down the street, you just seeing tents and man, man. I've seen a street downtown or West Loop turn into just. Almost like a shanty town, bro. Like in a matter of weeks, and you know, teachers own. They got to get it how they live. I'm never no hater. You know, he got to eat. But it's also like, was this the direct cause of what everyone's talking about with this open border shit? And if so, you cannot act as if that is not a problem. No, they came over here on, on buses at first. I think Texas. Yeah, but through the border. Sh- yeah, true, true, mm-hmm. true, true. But it wasn't always like that. Yeah. So when we hear about it, mm. and they're talking about it on the news, mm. I never used to be involved in it because it never really would affect me. Because we didn't see it. We never saw it. That's all. Mm. So now that we see it, that's how it affects us. Like, I see it. It's third world over there, G. It's third world. And because it can't I be. Seen, I seen tents on the highway, bro. Yeah. I'm, what? I'm bro. How is y'all sleeping good? And it can't be good for them. No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? It's unhealthy. It's, it can't be healthy for anyone. No. There's a couple cases of some wild cases coming out of those little uh, places they were holding them. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go into bro. details, but there were some wild cases. Yeah. I don't know the full details, and I don't have a moderator to pull it up like I would like. But, yeah, man, that does affect people. Then they on, uh, and this is actually, you can just look it up. Yeah. On uh, the red line. Robbing people, elderly. Yeah, they robbing people. Yeah. Yep, they robbing folks. They breaking into people's homes. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And I'm not anti-immigrant, G. Y'all got to no. keep this. Let me put that out there. I fuck with niggas, G. Come yeah. through. If you come to the country, do the right thing. Don't be wilding, bro. You feel me? Don't come out here just wilding. Like, bro, I don't care how you do it. Look, look, I'm and a that's hood a new nigga. Thing we got to worry about. Yeah, that's a new, like, because you can't deny the crime, bro. Hunger breed crime. I'm bro. I'm from the trenches. If I go hungry, I might rob you. You feel me? But we can't bring people here with no room to really feed them and expect them to eat, not to eat. <laughs> but is they not eating? Because they eating. I'm they got the cars. Oh, they got the they getting. Got the eat. How? Getting bro, they getting, oh. bro, they getting cars. They got, they getting loads of candy to sell. <laughs> hey, they. No, y'all laughing. Where's this candy coming from, bro? Hey, hey, hey. On my hey, homie. Hey, some kids be out there. And they, like make, nice and they be selling, selling candy, candy, bro. Like, how they getting like, the why candy? Why is not in bed? Why is this little kid selling candy at one now time? No, they, they, but they, they hustling. They, they yeah, coming up slowly but surely. But, that's but baby, is bro. it also being handed to them? I'm a, I'm a skeptic now. Who's handing them these boxes of candy for them to make it way? No, I think they probably is. Well, right. you now, man, look. We've been seeing videos and small things of people getting paid to come here and promise shit as long as they... You saw that uh, Biden and them was trying to get past that immigrants could get instant rights to vote. Did you see that? No. Yeah, they, that shit got, like, shut down by, mm. like, the Supreme Court or some shit. I bet. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They was trying to do a fast one. Like, mm. get niggas' rights to vote right away. I mean, I already knew it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, Trump blazing a trail we ain't seen in a while. Of course. Mm. You feel me? I ain't now. I ain't getting into that, but. It's, it's getting crazy. It's bro. getting wild. It's getting crazy. And you know what's about to happen here in Chicago, right? The Democrat National Convention. When it is? Next week, bud. Where? Shit, someone you know downtown where the mother do they do that shit? Hotels and shit? No, they doing the no, it's the yeah, it's a big thing. Now I think they might be doing it at when I don't know. They're doing it here though. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to go down around this motherfucker. I don't think I'm going. You no, know, it's gonna go down. They be doing wild shit on purpose. No, if it was some Trump shit, yeah, but yeah, yeah it is. But it's okay. Well, the last time a president stepped down, Lyndon B. Johnson was at a president rally. A convention in Chicago. So, I mean, hey man, they go, hey man, why not run it back? You stepping down, Biden already did it. You familiar? That's that's the point. It was after they during when Lyndon B. Johnson stepped down, they was rioting. That's why he stepped oh. down. Mm. Four days later, Martin Luther King got smoked. You know, they tried to smoke Trump. They had the convention already scheduled for Chicago. All I'm saying is. <laughs> He, shit he finna dodged happen, the bro. bullet, motherfucker. Ain't shit finna happen. Man, look. Damn, anything can happen. Man, ain't shit finna happen to that white guy. Bro. Um, so, um, Be straight. How do you feel about the border policy? It's crazy, bro. I feel like there should be some type of form of protection. You know do you think saying? we should shut that motherfucker down? Yeah, and it's not even for, like, to stop mm-hmm. opportunity type shit. Terrorism. Right. That's what I'm thinking, bro. I didn't, mm-hmm. I didn't watch 24, Jack Bauer. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mm-hmm. watch all of these movies, bro. Like, come on, man. Anybody can come over here and plan some shit because they can just walk. And anybody can get, and the crazy thing is anybody can get an American get a gun. Get a gun. You can go to any little smoke shop and buy an expensive, sharp ass knife. Mm-hmm. Gas station. Like, you can do real damage with shit down here, like. It's so accessible. Amazon. You can just Amazon anything with an email. Nigga, you can Amazon like stock parts with it. Yeah. And you know what? How it directly affects us? I can just remember like for the first time almost being nervous. Yeah, like almost being nervous to walk through their gangs of people just standing there. Because you like, damn, this look a little scary. (laughs) But then you walk through and they, they not really own shit. But it's like that at first that put a little anxiety. Like, wait a minute, this DT, what the fuck going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No police presence. No police. Hold on now, we couldn't do this. The police. That's really kind of what it is for me, though. It's like, wait, we would never be able to do this shit. Yeah, bro. I feel some type of way about it. About like how they be in these. 
urban neighborhoods and, yeah. and they just they be at the police station and they are allowed to smoke weed in the police station. I know that. Get, get this. They there were been there was complaints and shit about them smoking weed. This was I remember reading this shit on the news. Inside the police stations because they were sleeping in the police stations. Weed? Yes, but here's the kicker. Six, but here's the kicker. That's technically their residence. So mm. by law, they can smoke they weed. They don't know that shit. No, they do. They could do it. That's what the po they can't legally mm. tell them no. They're not breaking the law because their residence is the police station. They are housing them. Mm. Yeah. And weed is recreationally legal. So if you have some identification that says you're 21, you can go to a dispensary and recreationally buy you some weed. But by law, you're supposed to smoke that weed inside of your residence. You have to have to you have to be able to smoke the weed somewhere recreationally. If you can buy it, there has to be a place for you to smoke it, which is your residence. And since they were housed in the police stations, they were able to smoke weed in the police station. That's insane. Up. It's a crazy little bylaw, but imagine trying to go to your local police station and motherfuckers are sitting inside smoking weed. You got a crime to tell, and you got an uncle, and you got an uncle who got caught up for smoking weed outside when it was illegal or something, and they Doing bumped him. Ten years. That's the fuck shit that I was that that make me think about it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? That's fucked up. It's fucked up. That's why I don't deal with politics. That's why I don't. That's why, cause it get too deep. It gets too deep. You get mad. You get mad. Yeah, bro. But to low key, I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be some people who say, "Well, if you don't, you're naive. That's the reason nothing changes." <laughs> I feel you, folks. Yeah, I feel. You. I feel and you I too, feel folks. That for you. I feel that for you. <laughs> I love that for you. I love that for you. But me personally, every year I've been having a roll with whatever punches they've been throwing. I'm gas high. Fuck it. Gas low. Fuck it. You know, stemmy. Cool. Hey, you know no stemmy, cool. You know, what? you know what? I ain't gonna. I ain't even gonna. When it came to like, I'm not trying to change the subject. Yeah, I'm not when when Trump was in office, it was pretty cool. You wanna know why? And I'm not saying about the stemmy. I'm talking about like the racism. Yeah, it was in your face. You yeah. knew who was. You racist. You knew who was racist, and you knew who wasn't. You didn't have to look mm-hmm. behind your back. Mm-hmm. It was in front of your face. It was right there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Simpler time. It was simple. Simpler time. You know what I'm I'd rather motherfuckers be you know who front. was fake other than hiding that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, and honestly, what I hated was the fact that this one was so weird about low key that some of the Trump supporters, and I, I'm not a Trump hater, but I'm not, you know, some of the Trump supporters, G, like use Trump as a reason to be full blown <laughs> racist. <laughs> when, racist and ignorant. When bro. it was like whole time, niggas was like, yo, we kind of like dude too, but they thought that was like they're out to like this is so fucked. This is they why did, you know this is that. how you know racist is just so stupid. G literally, y'all use this, y'all use Trump as a reason to come out, be full blown racist, and say yeah, fuck it, I'm racist, and act like he was a Nazi leader. Mm. When whole time a lot of blacks fucked with Trump too, yeah, and Trump has been fucking with the black community for a very long time, like hey. very long time. G. That's how that was weird, y'all. Weird, like any Trump supporter that just wants to be f- flat out like I'm a racist. Like, do you? But you weird. It's cool. But we fuck niggas. Fuck with Trump too. Yeah. Nobody hating on that nigga. And ain't nobody necessarily hating on Kamala either. G, do y'all shit. Like, I don't really think niggas is. That's the misconception. I think niggas hate. Think we hating on Kamala. I don't think we hating on Kamala. G, we might not. Most niggas might not want her as their choice. But that ain't mean we hating on her. At the same time, it still would be an amazing thing. No, it's not a bad thing, G. And, it's, and, and you feel me? Like, that's what I'm saying. That's the thing I'm saying. I don't think people is hating, but the one thing I think niggas is tired of is being race baited in the voting. Oh, yeah. Stop telling people that you have to vote for someone because they are black. We got over the hurdle <laughs> with having a black president with Barack. Yeah. All right? And it's fine. I don't think he was a bad president. You feel me? But to race bait and saying we need to vote for Kamala because she is black is just naive thinking. And I'm not saying that she can't be a great ca- a candidate, but it is naive thinking to say, vote for Kamala because she's black or vote for anyone else other than Trump just because it's Trump. That's naive. If you can't give facts behind it and, and real reasoning to these real grown black men as to why we need to vote for who we need to vote for, these men are going to vote for who they want to vote for. You know what I'm saying? Or and not vote at all. Or not vote at all because... 
there's no way you're gonna just race bait us anymore. G. That is, is that's so stupid to say. I'm not voting for Dennis Rodman to be my president because he's black. G. Mm-hmm. I'm just not doing it. Like <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like what are we? Like that's stupid. And I'm not saying Kamala's Dennis Rodman, but it's that's how it sounds to me when someone's like, "You got to vote for Kamala because she's black." So nigga, I'm supposed to vote for anybody because they black? Like what? That don't make sense. You know, you got to figure that out. Vote or die. Yeah, let's roll the gas. Gosh, Talking the all this bullshit. All right, so got my plate of eggs. Shout out the wife. <sighs> Fun little pod, man. I like these. I wonder if people will. I wonder if people will like them. These are cool. Just chopping shit. My opinion. Yeah. You know. Glad to have you, man. Yeah. No. Yeah. For sure. Thanks for coming by and just talking shit. Great time, man. More black men need to be discussing these issues and supporting that black man. Like, these real-life, these real topics. Niggas, well. And then you ain't got to go too serious in them, but they real topics. Yeah, true. You know, like, being race-baited into voting is a serious topic as a black man. Like, I get I get tired. As a conscious nigga, I get tired of hearing that. Mm. Just not doing it. Now, if I do some research and I find out that Kamala is the best candidate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. Do that black then add a little extra? I yes, want, I wanted Bernie in. I know he's too old now, but the first time, like Bernie, but Bernie be talking real shit. Yeah, exactly. I wanted Bernie. I wouldn't have minded Bernie. He talked real shit, and he back his shit up. Mm-hmm. I saw that debate. It was a debate. Bernie was chewing niggas out. He chewed by now. ass out. Nigga, you said this. Nah, bro. Pull up the receipts. Go to YouTube right now. You said this. Biden up every nigga. He know the whole world. It doesn't matter. We on TV. The whole world can see. I don't it. think he had that much back in him. No, he didn't. Mm-mm. I don't know what I don't know why Joe had so much back. It almost feel like, see, if you did your time long enough, you know, well, I knew Joe was gonna have it. Yeah, he was with Obama. You know what I'm saying? He was the cool VP that was just doing cool shit all the time. Coke with Hunter, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, he was like, look. Boy, he ain't make no decisions, nigga. <laughs> hey, look. While we so busy giving Trump some sauce, we got a fake gift Biden a little sauce because <laughs> like the best job ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. I am no Trump hater. I am no Biden hater. I don't give a fuck. But we got to give Biden a little bit, G. You a funny motherfucker, bro. First off. The way Biden used to do that little stop and stare back slow <laughs> as fuck, like he a stop vote, look at the crowd and just smile, bro. Like folks, a funny dude. Just cool shit, bro. He just got it off of who he knew. That man say, "I took Trump behind the gym." <laughs> like, bro, Joe Biden was funny. I liked how he used to wear them like aviator shades. So you yeah. wearing them in? Be cool than a fan. Cool. You feel just me? Just a cool nigga that just got, a a, cool got that nigga. position. Now, that sniff, that, that sniff video, though. That was sniff video. You know that video. You sniffing oh, head. No, you sniffing head. Yeah, Joe Biden sniff. Yeah. That's 4K, Joe. <laughs> we not letting that slide. But they did, though. I'm not letting that slide. I'm not finna. <laughs> I just can't be up here, like, saying how Joe Biden did some cool shit and then be like, wait a minute, though. You sniffing head, for. Don't be tweaking, G. You were still sniffing hair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Trump said, about, we ain't forget about grabber by the, yeah. Uh, yeah, Trump, you said what it. you know? Nah, nah you, yeah, you wildin', buddy. <laughs> Niggas was looking at that shit like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah. yeah. I was like, hey, yo. I'm not going to front, though. Oh. Grab her by the yussie is insane. Yeah, man. What do you mean, grab her by? Like, what? Hey, bro. Shout out to the presidents of the United States. Trump. Y'all got some of the hardest jobs ever, man. This shit's insane. You know what's crazy, bro? We can either have a female president or a fella. That's That's crazy. That's crazy. That's a crazy time, bro. Yeah, bro. That's a crazy time. Low key. Damn. There's been a lot of crazy stuff throughout president's history that we just don't really be thinking about because it's you know so old and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, bro, a lot of presidents had a lot. See, that's the crazy thing though. They be talking all this stuff. You know, that was shit like Watergate. Hey, like niggas hey, was hey, 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 nah. hey. You feel me? Like 
<laughs> they was wilding, you yeah. know what I'm saying? This yeah. ain't nothing new. I mean, nah, I know that happened. Yeah. You know. How was that man? St- oh, Lord. How is he still free? Who? George Bush. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? He got smoke. We still don't <laughs> believe that was not a crime against humanity. Like, are we still believing 9 11 was clearly not, like, it was clearly orchestrated? Hey, man. Bush. Was another cool ass nigga. Bush was a got cool nigga job. though, but we gotta talk about it though. Wait a minute. <laughs> Bush was another see, cool when you nigga. Gangster, you can understand his job, mm-hmm. like, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that nigga yeah. said we're gonna get him out of the war. We're done fighting the war, or some shit. He say, "Now watch this drive, folks. Go over there, and hit the putt for mid interview, bro. He a demon. Yeah, George Bush was like <laughs> he got that. the news told it just, <laughs> yeah." Sat his ass that down, <laughs> shit. Bush is like, like that, yeah. Damn, Bush. Yeah, Bush. Hey, remember he dodged that fucking sandal? Bro dodged the shoe <laughs> twice, bro. And he stood was smiling. And didn't even, bro, he. Oh, he was smiling, bro. That shit was a game to him. Come on, bro. bro. the secret service? He, he, look, he didn't even look around that <laughs> nigga. See, that's, see, that's what y'all don't talk about, G. I don't want to give these <laughs> niggas they sauce. Y'all want to hate on everybody. Nigga, he was looking dead at the nigga through a shoe. <laughs> Like, damn, bro. He threw two shoes. He was that mad. Bro was mad as fuck. <laughs> you should have ran up, nigga. Nah, they would have tackled Man, him. if you're going to go all the way, you got you finna get, you get, crash get out. he got tackled anyway, bro. Exactly. If you're going to crash out with your shoe, you might as well try to go all the way. You going to crash, bro, any crash out with the Secret Service, nigga, you get like a minimum of like some wow, G. You feel me? You tried to just harm the leader of the. You might not make it, bro, the whole time. Let's keep it a bean. Yeah, they finna put you somewhere. You might die, you. bro. No, just that gonna, simple. They're going to question and torture. You know what I'm saying? Man, look, they might get him off the face of the earth because ain't nobody checking on him after. No, no, Who no, wants no. to be known as the one affiliated with the nigga that just tried to hurt the president? He ain't going to see no more daylight, but yeah, he, right. he going to get questioned and tortured. Oh, <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. It's like, after you question this nigga, you get, if you try to do some, I, I just don't see it. I don't think it's, I just think it should low key be a law. That if you tried to hurt the president, our only representative, let's think about it. You gotta bit, die. Bro. You tweaking? I'm pretty sure he's not around no more. Yeah, I mean, you know, but that's one, no, no, that's just me, like no, a personal thing. Like you, this is the this is your leader of your world, mm-hmm. your your county, your country. I'm sorry, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go, folks. I know China. You I know China, Russia. Yeah, you know Kim Jong. Oh, please. <laughs> I dare you try ooh, to try ooh, with Kim Jong Un. Nigga, you try what? Nigga, you can kill on site in front of thousands at the at the local coliseum or whatever they got. No cameras, no nothing. Nothing. No phones <laughs> no, allowed no, no, inside. No, no, Everybody no, no, no. in this country, he gonna address the whole nation to see this man die. Yeah. He yeah. not gonna play around, but what y'all doing? Nobody gonna know about it. Feel me? No yeah. other country, but no. look, <laughs> <laughs> only North. It's gonna be a North Korean great secret. Like no one can know. Like, but they yeah, gonna be that yeah. locked in, for that bro. Locked in. Yeah, yeah, you can't harm them. Yeah. Hey, you know what's another <laughs> thing though, bro? Look, right? We don't talk about Kim Jong Un. That nigga be fresh as he do fuck. be fresh as fuck, bro. Be riding in Maybachs and shit. Maybach like, custom, custom Prada suits, custom. You ever see and his hair? people be fresh too? Be fresh. It's as not hell. just him. All of them be fresh. And his bodyguards, they like they not normal. Like they real deal. You know, they like, they jacked and shit. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? And you ever see a hair out of place on that nigga's head? Nah. Cut immaculate. Cut immaculate every time. I don't know if this was AI or not, mm. but that video of, um, I sent it to you, um, mm. Ken Gong mm. and um, Putin together chilling, driving. Oh, no, I think that was real. I don't think that was AI. I don't know. Let me do some research, but I don't know if that was fake. Kind of yeah, scary. I don't think I was right. scary at the same time. I have, see, everybody wants to talk about the scary, but it's also like, bro, bro, they they love saying how scary shit is. Sometimes, okay, you gotta imagine if you're a world leader and you near some other world leader, there's only a few they niggas like y'all. Friendship, G. That's, they they boys, but they probably should be if they're like two major powers. No, it's best that y'all be cool. Those than niggas be is cool like how we cool. They kick it. Hey, that's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying. If they just like say, for instance, politics aside, they fuck with each other as men. It's because there's they're the only two men in their positions. True. 
True. in the world. There's no one no else one to like relate. Real, yeah, relate. You feel real, me? Yeah. So I get I, like politics aside, they're still human beings. Like y'all love to forget people humans. Hey, if them two really wanted to make some shit shit, they could. That's that's the point. You you should be a homie with somebody like that. You feel me? You should be a homie with somebody like that. I don't know, like, a tr- you know, same way Biden and probably, the, you know, England and all them locked in. You got to be locked in. You got to be. I don't think they know. They at the UN, all them world leaders be there. No one want to talk about. Yes, they all probably are very, like, if you spend time with these motherfuckers talking to somebody and you find one another bunch that's decent to you, yes, that don't make not that don't make unrealistic sense. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's like you going to a networking event, you meet somebody cool. I'm just thinking about it on some war type shit. You know, not for war aspects, yeah, but that's that fear mongering that we love to live on. You feel me? It's, oh, we see the world leaders, some shit's going to go down. I mean, it could have been just like, yo, Maybe this is their root, because a lot of these shits be routine. So, like, that. remember when they was like Russia uh, boats was going by uh, Florida? Remember that? Mm. It's international waters. Okay, first and foremost, there's no, you can't, you feel me? They gave the U.S. a warning that they were doing a fleet ride by, and it was something that they hadn't done in a long time, but it needed to be done. Mm-hmm. It was like, a, you know, you it's practice. It was not because we're about to go to war with the U.S. or because tensions are always high. Could maybe tensions made it just be like, look, let's just check this off the box just in case. We got to remember we, what we know about these waters or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I'm not a military nigga. Mm. But they did warn the U.S. The U.S. was aware of it. There was no, like, scared uh, uh, thing behind it. Did we probably have troops stationed just in case? Yes, you have to. It's just common yeah. sense. Yeah. Like, if you don't, you're an idiot. But... We got so scared by that shit, <laughs> and it came and went. Nobody talked about it no more because they weren't finna do shit, bro. Hey. <laughs> like, nigga, it was routine checkup. Oh, uh, niggas, they babies finna get ready to smoke, nigga. Niggas was talking shit, and it'd be like, gee, sometimes. Okay, but talk about how many times do the U.S. fleets fly by Russia or whatever up in Alaska? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas yeah, you know, right there. They can see each other. You can look at us. You know, so they know see see what's going on with each other. We have for the longest. Since the moon race, nigga, we knew what Russia and them was trying to do. I don't do. think people understand how close Russia is. Extremely close. <laughs> why do you think we got, why do you think it was important for niggas like Trump to go talk to Putin? Mm. Like, that's why. Because them niggas right here. But they, they always can, think of it like, oh, the West. And it's like, they look at it as far as. Dude, like, nigga, we on a globe. We in a circle. Yeah, bro. We all damn near touching each other. Yes, bro. Some kind of way. Like, you know, when you look at it, it's not that far. It's not in, unreasonable, especially Russia, nigga. It's like what five hundred thousand maybe miles or some some wild. You can see it with the naked eye. You you can wave at a motherfucker. Yeah, see a nigga through binoculars. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it was a it was a post about that. Like they took pictures and they either each other was mm-hmm. middle finger each other. Yeah. It's like all right. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but fuck it. <laughs> exactly. Then it's like seeing cool. Canada from Detroit. G. It's like you can see that motherfucker. You feel me? So, man, this was a great time, man. Appreciate you chatting with me, pal. Yeah. We already hit about an hour, so might as well wrap it up. End it on the Putin note. Yeah, we've been here that long? Yeah, we've been on the pod, dude. Shit. Yeah, man. Fuck it. We got to roll this another blunt, get high, and follow the day, man. Appreciate you, bud. We got to do this once a week or so. This is awesome. I like this. Just chatting up. Come up with some new topics. Hopefully, if you guys like to see Big T on the on the yeah, that's the gas. We're straight with this. Go leaf. Yeah, y'all would like to see Big T just come through. We talk some more interesting stuff. Hopefully, it sparks a conversation that we can have in the comments. I love sparking debate. I love trying to get us to think a different way. So it's cool. Me and my big my guy, big fella, we we be locked in. You know what I'm saying? So it's your boys of the session, Big T, man. We signing up. <laughs>